Hi everyone, welcome back to Eden. How are you all doing? So I hope you are all doing great. So in the previous video we have been discussing about degrees of comparison. Today we will be discussing about the rules of adjectives. Okay, so rule for this degrees of comparison. What are the rules we need to follow? So before we proceed, please do like, share and subscribe. Okay. Mm. Rules for degrees of comparison. So we have seen one rule. So how to transform a base form of a adjective into the comparative and superlative. That is the first thing. The first rule is, the first rule is when two or more things are supposed, two or more things or persons or people are supposed to be compared you will be using comparative degree. So comparative degree is used when two or more are used in comparison. So you will be transforming when two or sorry when two persons or two things or persons are compared. You will be using a comparative degree. And how is the comparative adjective form? By adding an er when the word is, when the word is ending with an e, you will simply add r. So that is the first rule. So when two things or people are compared, you will be using comparative degree along with than. You also have to use than along with the comparative adjective. After the comparative adjective, you will be using a word than. Okay? It is transformed into the comparative degree by adding er. And if it is ending with an e, you will simply add r. And in the same way, if you are using it for superlative degree, if you are trying to compare it for many, then you will be using a superlative degree. For many, you will use superlative degree. And in superlative degree, you will be using the along with, along with, the superlative adjective and superlative adjective is formed by adding est or simply st depending upon the word right so this is the first rule so let us see a few words how so i have just listed out some words which we can just come make them as comparative and superlative so, like I have said, when a word is ending with E, you won't be adding ER, simply add R. So, it will become later and superlative degree will become latest. Similarly, smart will become smarter. Here we are adding ER and smartest. Tall, it's taller and tallest. Similarly, stranger and strangest. This stranger is not about the person, it is about the stranger. Okay, so here the strange is an intensity, it is uh, trying to tell about an emotion. Some strange things happen. It is much stranger. Okay, stranger to see this. Or this is the strangest thing I have seen. So to tell that. Similarly, old, older and oldest. Black, blacker, blackest. These are just few examples. Okay. So when we are following the first rule, we will be adding ER or EST to change it into comparative or superlative degree. So if it is ending with an E, you won't be adding er, you will simply add r. The next rule is, suppose if the word is ending with a cvc or simply a cvc. What is a cvc? cvc means consonant, vowel, consonant. If the word has got an ending of a consonant, vowel, consonant or simply the word itself is a cvc. That is a small three letter word that is a consonant, vowel, consonant. Then, here you won't be changing the form by adding ER or EST. You will be 
adding it but when first of all this consonant at the end has to be doubled okay so the cvc word you will be adding one more consonant of the same of the same letter and then add er if it is for comparative and add est if it is for superlative like if we see a word b i g big it is a cvc consonant vowel and consonant now the comparative degree word is formed by making the consonant double it will become big plus r it is becoming bigger similarly similarly for making it superlative it will become big s biggest right did you understand this is the second rule when a word is ending with a cvc or it is itself is a cvc you will be changing these we'll see some more i'll just list out few words so here you can see like we have changed big bigger biggest now hot it is hotter hottest like thin if you see it has got a word ending of cvc h i n that is consonant vowel and consonant so it will become add one more n and add er thinner similarly thinnest similarly here also flat flatter flattest similarly sad sadder saddest okay so whenever you see word endings with cvc or a word itself is a cvc this is the next rule to follow then comes two syllable adjective two syllable adjective and if the word is ending with a consonant okay if the word is ending with a consonant y if the word is ending with a this is the third rule if the if the word is ending with a consonant y you simply need to drop you simply need to drop this y and add i in place of y and as usual add er like for example dirty you need to drop y that means remove y and in place of y you will be using i i plus er so it will become dirtier it will become dirtier and for superlative degree you will be adding i plus est dirtiest so this is the next rule when the word is a two syllable word and at the same time if it is having a consonant ending with a y at the end so you will be dropping the y and add i in place of y and add er or est depending upon which degree of word you are making next we will just see some more words so i have listed out few words so there are many like this i'm just giving for example okay so dirty dirtier dirtiest we have already seen so coming to ugly so it is having a y ending a consonant ending so you have to drop y and use i in place of y and add er so it becomes uglier and ugliest similarly pretty prettier prettiest happy happier happiest you simply have to remove y add i add er or est 
okay healthy healthier healthiest so don't get confused with the spellings even heavy heavier heaviest right so this is the next rule whenever a consonant is ending with uh, sorry whenever a word is ending with a consonant y you need to drop y and add i in place of y at the same time add er for comparative degree add est for superlative degree so the next thing next rule is when it has got more number of syllables when the word is large enough so whenever the word is large enough instead of adding ier or est or er like i have told for beautiful i'll tell you later on so for making it into comparative form you need to add more okay and for superlative you will be adding the word most more and most are used for a long or more syllable word at the same time long words like in useful okay this book is useful this book is useful if i say simply this book is useful that is the positive degree i am telling it in the base form this book is useful this book is more useful than that i am comparing two things this book is more useful than that or you can simply say this book is the most useful book is books are most useful so here i am telling that they are the most useful things books are the most useful things right so here if you see we are not making it as usefuler or usefulest okay so you will not be adding er or est but rather you will be adding word more or most so when you want to use it for comparative degree you will be making it as more useful and when you want to make it as superlative you will be using as most useful like more useful comparative most useful is superlative beautiful she is more beautiful okay she is more beautiful than her sita is more beautiful than geetha okay she is the most beautiful girl in the class she is the most beautiful among all those who are there in the class she is the most beautiful so that is telling that in comparison with each one in the class she is the most beautiful right so that is the intensity similarly for interesting more interesting most interesting more interesting means suppose if you want to compare like this story is interesting this story sounds interesting this story is more interesting than the story which i heard last night it is in comparison some other story you might have heard in comparison you are saying this is more interesting this is the most interesting story which i have ever heard till now whatever the stories i have heard among all the stories this one is the most interesting one so that is the superlative degree similarly famous more famous and most famous okay more famous most famous similarly popular more popular most popular difficult more difficult most difficult here you won't be comparing you won't be using you won't be changing the words with er and est rather you will be using the intensified words that is more and most will be used before the base form of the verb word to transform it into comparative and superlative adjective similarly confused more confused most confused active more active most active so i hope you have understood about the regular type of adjectives these are all regular adjectives which does not change their word forms okay there is one more thing which are called irregular adjectives where in irregular sorry irregular adjectives the form will be changed you won't be using the words like this the complete word is changed okay we'll be seeing that in the next video i hope you have understood it try to practice more and use to make sentences using the degrees of comparison thank you